Hey everyone, this is Blue Ocean, and I'm going to be showing you how to paint a wolf. So I've already done my sketch, and I've really, I've really erased, my god, um, all of the guidelines and extra lines I didn't need. So let's get started. So let's start with a really light gray. Remember, like, I always start with the lighter colors. Remember, you can always test it on your sheet. Nope, way too dark. So, if, to make your colors lighter, what you do is get your palette, and get your mixing tray, and get the color that you want to make lighter, and put it in one of the things, and just keep on doing that until you got a decent amount of paint, get some water, and mix in the water. There we go. Then you get a lighter color to paint with. Okay, we can always test it on our sheet. Uh, that looks like a good color to start with. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. I'll just start from the head down. You're going to get little pools of paint. Just smooth it around, spread it out. Get all those crooks and crannies. And it does it's not even about like just painting and color. It's about just getting it moist, add more colors on. So it will blend and bleed together. I like it when watercolors bleed. Some people don't. I personally do. Um but yeah, get in the tail and all those places. Need to add a bit more paint to the mixture there. And there you go. Okay, so we start with our base color. Now let's go with a darker color, so I'll just take the same gray again. Just don't add any more water to the mixture you already have. And I'm going to make the ears dark. The snout dark. And I want this to go together like that. And I'm going to go down into the fur. Like that. Get some more paint. And outline the tail. I like playing wolves. I, I like painting wolves because I like playing with the different um, shades of grey. And blending them together and making little hair strokes and hair sticking out and it's just fun. And so I pretty much just outline the wolves with the colors. So now we're gonna take our water and blend it in like that. Every once in a while, just take your finger and try to scoop out those little pieces there. If you want. I really don't, because they don't really bother me. Um, but if you're using watercolor paper, that usually won't happen. The little pieces of paper getting went crumbling up. The paper will start to get wrinkled, too, from the water. Okay, um, I like to paint the tip of the tail darker. 
So I do want to paint wolves. Like that. And then the nose, I'm going to use black. I'm not going to use it too dark, but I'm going to make it darker than the rest. And then the ears, paint the tips of them black. That's a little too dark. So I'm going to add some water until it blends in. Make, uh, make sure the nose doesn't bleed. Well, it can, but I don't like the nose to bleed. Okay. And then the eye, which is also very dark. Take the very end of your brush. Eyes usually close when it's howling. So yeah, and then if you want, you can paint a moon in there. Or something like that. And there you go, you got yourself a wolf.